Namula Samule Maharal Yomorten in Sami, my native tongue. In Norwegian and English, my name is Yomorten Koven. My friends just call me Muku, Joe, or Yomuku. The Sami are indigenous peoples who used to live as nomads in the northern parts of Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Russia, an area known as Sapmi. Today, the Sami population is estimated at 100,000 people. The traditional occupation is reindeer herding, though that has now changed over time. The Sami have faced assimilation and repression of their culture. The impact of this has greatly tested their sense of cultural identity. Somehow, still, the Sami people yoik. <laughs> Yoik is a Sami song tradition, which was used by the shaman, or in Sami Nuaidi, to achieve a trance in pre-Christian times, and uses distinct and challenging vocalizations, with leaping pitches and breath control. The yoik has many functions in Sami culture, also outside of spiritual rituals. Yoik can be used to calm a reindeer herd or scare away wild animals. Yoiks are used to tell stories about anything, a place or animal, or bring forth the memories of a person. <laughs> Now, accompanied by instruments, Yoiks can be traditional or modern, using popular and classical music forms, such as pop, rock, country, hip-hop, reggae, heavy metal, and jazz. Yoik is diverse, vibrant, and a thriving vocal form, bringing people together, creating solidarity, Ailuhash, Nils Arslak Valgeva, once said, The yoik describes human feelings, joy, and sadness in our hearts. The yoik describes as well the biggest and most beautiful gift a human can ever get love. In Sami, Rakiswa. <laughs> I started performing Yoik only three, four years ago on stage. Before that, I didn't dare to do it because I wasn't confident enough. At one point, I just decided, from now on, I'm going to learn how to Yoik. Throughout the last few years, I learned some family yoiks, traditional yoiks, and animal yoiks. Today, I perform yoiks on stage. Yoik has inspired me and strengthened my cultural identity. I feel empowered when I yoik, and I see how it impacts 
and emotionally moves people. I use my platform to inspire youth so that the powerful yoiks can continue to live on. For me, yoik is all about the flow, like dancing flames in a fire, or waves hitting the shores, or the movement of a living creature. The uniqueness of a yoik is special to me. Saita ti kaunusha, saita tuoi vale, saita ti yordash mobira, moto vordandam baby. Every beat is unique, every wave is different, every movement is flowing its own way, every time. Ayoik never stops flowing for me. For me, personally, the fact that 400 years ago, yoiking could lead to imprisonment or even a death sentence, and today it may lead to sold-out concerts, it's something I always have with me when I'm on stage. And to have been a part of that massive change, it makes me both happy and really proud. And then to have a non-Sami audience yoik along with us, it warms my heart. It's just, it's amazing. Yoik has been an important part of my family for generations. Traditionally, they have been transferred orally from a family member to another. My goal is to record as many yoiks as possible to preserve our family yoiks. I mix modern technology and genres of music with yoiks but it's still of importance to me to stay true to the traditional sound. The Gahtosel Bello Yoik is about a white-furred reindeer, restless to start migrating towards the coast after a long, cold winter. The Sami people have long depended on the reindeer for their livelihoods, sustenance and sacred rituals. Yoiks are used to herd reindeer 
and different words can be used to single out each animal within the herd. In the spring, there's an annual reindeer migration, a 10,000-year-old rhythmic slow amble over an undulating landscape of white plains. Towards the shores of the Arctic Ocean, they spend the summer grazing the tundra pastures. In autumn, they journey south again to spend the winter in the sheltered forests of the taiga, grazing and digging for lichen in light and fluffy snow. These migrations are increasingly under threat. New fences and human development can disrupt these movements. The Arctic is warming, the permafrost is thawing, summer pastures are turning into sludge, winter rains freeze the ice, and the lichen cannot be reached or cannot grow, and animals starve. Grazing lands are further threatened by development projects. Yoiks are deeply connected to land and place and as powerful cultural markers and signifiers. They speak to a changing world. The history of Yoik is deeply entwined with the history of the Sami people. Reviving Yoiks, keeping them alive, is also a homecoming a return to sitting around the guahti, or firestones. While migrating with reindeer herds, or fishing in different places, for the Sami people, the center of the world moves with them, carrying home in their hearts. Yoiks are personal, political, and spiritual. Through music and song, we revive language, identity, and our connection to land and place. As Ailuhash, Nils Arslak Valgaba said, Yoik has no rules. You can improvise the way you like. It has no beginning. And actually, it has no ending as well. It simply exists.